Okay, hello everybody and welcome. My name's Carl and today I have been tossed with a challenge by my wife to make steamed bread from a recipe she wrote down. Look at that. You can see that it's a bunch of quantities on one side and ingredients on the other. So now they're not directly correlated so now I have to try and figure out which one goes where and if I bugger up We'll have to try and eat it at the end. Okay, so follow me along and let's see how it goes. Okay, so we're gonna start off with a large mixing bowl. Okay, and we're gonna start off with the basis of most of our bread uh, products. The basis of the bread product is most likely flour. So we're gonna do some bread flour. So I'm going to go with the biggest amount here, which is 525 grams. Okay, I don't have a scale, but I am going to try and see if I can swing it and use a cup and get about 500 grams. No, a cup's supposed to be 250 moles around there. So we're just going to do two cups. Apparently it's supposed to make it fluffy, so it's not so dense and dry. The flour, <coughs> not the cup. Okay, so one cup. One cup. Yeah. Want someone making a cup of spongy cake, but let's see. There's two cups. We call it two cups on that large mixing bowl. There we go. Great power sign. Okay, so we've got a roughly 500 grams of flour, red flour. So, where the heavens to go from here. Yeah. So, next we have salt. Okay. I don't know the list of ingredients. That says one pinch, so obviously that's salt. We've got salt. So, one pinch. One more table salt. Lots of salt. Like a little bit of salt. Next on the list is yeast. Yeast. Okay, so that's supposed to be one teaspoon, I assume. Are they not? Hmm. Okay. From past history, I know yeast is supposed to be in warm water. Okay, yeah. warm water here. And. I think it's 200 moles. 200 moles, 200 moles. Where are we, where are we, where are we? 200 mils of lukewarm water. That was lukewarm. Okay, yeah, so it's some lukewarm water. We've got our dry ingredients set them aside here for now. Okay, so lukewarm water, and then we're gonna get a teaspoon of yeast. Just gonna do that. Off frame there because it's a tiny packet. Uh, tiny bottle. Teaspoon of yeast. This part right. There we go. And I watched a video on how to make a certain brand of uh, liquid. And with that, yeast needs sugar. So I'm assuming. That's what the tablespoons of sugar are for. So I'm gonna go one, two. It should be enough sugar. I'm just gonna stir it and it should give it some time to activate. Uh, we'll know when it's going to activate. Uh, apparently, you'll see little bubbles. On the top, it looks like it's been mixed in well there. Okay, so we're going to let him some secret ingredients. I'm just going to throw in some pepper, just for a little bit of extra flavour. No one will know, only me, I think. <clears throat> it's only a packet. Okay, now I've got some fennel seeds here that we put at the shop. 
just gonna chuck a handful of fennel seeds in. I like me some fennel seeds. I know it's not part of the recipe, but I'm doing it anyway. We're going to get into the procedure. Now we have to mix our dry ingredients. So it was our salt and flour <coughs> with the pepper and fennel seeds. I'll just mix those thoroughly so that I'm all end up in one place. Okay, I'm done with dissolving yeast. We'll add all the other ingredients together now shortly. I cannot keep things clean when I cook or try and cook. Yeah, that seems to be mixed in fairly well. Uh, there we go. Got some oil. Now you can just use normal vegetable oil, vegetable oil. I'm using sunflower oil. Just one teaspoon into the wet ingredients. One teaspoon there. A tablespoon, sorry. Back under that stove okay and then it was some vinegar you can use rice wine vinegar which I'm using or you can use your normal white spread vinegar I don't know if you want to spice it up and go brown vinegar but we're just going to do one teaspoon of vinegar white rice wine vinegar there we go so that's all done, I'm assuming. Oh, and milk. So I have to do 50 ml of milk. Now as I can see. Mm. There we go. That looks very weird. Okay, mix it up. I question this, I'm pretty sure the milk cooks due to the vinegar but or curdles but now there's all the yeast here done mix wet ingredients and yeast done mix wet dry oh okay it doesn't say how so I'm gonna put a little bit a stronger spoon Knead it together. Pray it doesn't stick to my hand. So I think that's nearing the end of that. So what we're gonna do is just possibly wrap him up. So it's looking kind of smooth there. Eh? Yeah, I'm pretty much the same. So they say make it into a little ball. Uh, I need until smooth. And the next step is let it rise. Yeah. So I'm just going to get some pinkle. In this case, it's a clingy bomb. There we go. Just so nothing ends up on it. We'll come back soon. And then we, once it's risen, we will chop up some onion, chop up some garlic. That was the last thing left. A teaspoon of baking powder. Into it. So I'm just gonna 
Look at the teaspoon. Oh, I'm putting it up now. I'm working in. We're just gonna give it, give or take, 20 to 30 minutes, and then we will have a look at it again. And put the lid on, and I'll <coughs> see you shortly. Come through nicely. Seems to be the dominant smell. Flavor of the garlic's just just there. But other than that, uh, I think I followed it fairly well. The yeast worked. Didn't rise as much as I wanted it to, but what can you do? Well, I hope you have better luck at home than I did. Mine turned out pretty fun. Tastes sweet. Now it's just to smack up a nice little relish with the leftover on onion and garlic and see how it goes from there. Thanks for watching. Join in again next time. Try something new. Maybe a different bread, different recipe. Always doing something different. Cool. See you. Bye.